What's up, Panda family? You know what we haven't done in a while? We haven't vlogged. So what better way than to start a vlog than by going to a dim sum restaurant to have some lunch. For those of you that don't know what dim sum is, it's basically kind of like authentic Chinese food. They serve in a small portion and it's really delicious. And a lot of times when you go on the right day, they have a lot of these old Chinese ladies pushing out these food in their individual carts. And it's kind of cute. Um, but I don't know if they're gonna do that right now because of COVID-19. But wouldn't it be funny if they're pushing out these carts with their masks on, you know, still doing the same routine. But we're gonna find out. So we're on our way to uh, the restaurant. And um, you know, we haven't, it's been three months guys. Y you guys know, we, we like to eat out. We like restaurants. So it's been three months. We have to do this, you know, spend some quality time together. But um, yeah. Ooh, it's raining. Hey, hey honey, you like my beer? No. You don't like my beer? No. Why not? This is the natural me. This is a three month progress, guys. Like, I never grew out facial hair like this before. Um, so I figured I wanted to see how much facial hair I can grow out. And it, in the three months I've been indoors and it's grown pretty thick and I feel like it grow even thicker uh, if I let this out grow for another year. No. So, will you be okay? No. <laughs> no? Shave it tomorrow, please. My hair is also ridiculously long, guys. Like I haven't cut my hair in three, uh, three, months, three months as well. Um, I'm definitely gonna get a haircut very soon. This beer will probably be gone very soon as well. Uh, you know, we're about to go back to the real, real world, so I'm not planning on keeping this beer forever. But for the time being, enjoy. <laughs> so we're here at the restaurant, guys, and it's very different. As you can see, kind of empty. No. Chinese lady pushing carts, but all of the uh, employees, I don't know if you can see them, everybody in the kitchen as well, they're all wearing masks. So that's pretty cool. What I also thought was interesting was that um, typically at an Asian restaurant, you would find a lot of like different sauce bottles on the table, but this time they took all those away and they individually wrapped all the different sauces for the customers. So I thought it was pretty uh, different and unique, pretty cool. But um, yeah, you ready for this meal? This yes. three month. She got a coffee. We haven't had dim sum in over three months and I'm excited for it. So when they don't have the nice Chinese lady with the cars with the food, they have a menu here. And as you can see, uh, they label all the different kinds of dishes and then each dish has their own individual pricing. And what you basically do is that you choose the dish that you like and then on the side, you write the amount of plates that you want to order. And then eventually they'll bring them out to you. So you guys, the problem with eating and vlogging is that the food comes out and I just really want to dig in. But I have to remember to vlog for you guys real quick. So these are some of the foods that we order and these are some of our favorites. Let's start with this one real quick. This one we call it pretty much like a rice paper um, with shrimp in it. Steamed rice paper and shrimp. It's delicious. It has soy sauce. This is my favorite. This is called sumai or shrimp and pork dumpling. And as you can see, we have two orders of it because they are my favorite. They are so delicious. They're like, they're like a ball of heavenly flavor. This one's also nice too. This is uh, basically a shrimp dumpling with a clear rice paper noodle and inside is like mixed shrimp in there. Mm -hmm. And this one for all you exotic people, you guys know what this is if you guys eat dim sum. But for you guys that don't, this is chicken feet. Yes, a whole chicken feet. And it, the, the sauce that they cook in it is so delicious. Um, pretty much it tastes a lot like fatty gel gelatinous cartilage stuff So, you know when I was younger, I didn't really like this but as I grow older This actually became one of my favorite uh, dim sum items. So very good guys, but yes, we eat chicken feet out here There you go But um, yeah, we're gonna start digging in guys. Um, we're hungry, so Okay, first day sumai. Let's go. Cheers. Cheers. So basically you would dip them into the sauce. I like to dip them into a little soy sauce for, you know, flavor and a little chili oil for a little spiciness. That, that right there guys, that's, that's heaven. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm. So good. Guys, this is so good. We haven't had this in so long. How you feel over there? I'm good. 
Kind of going for one more. My favorite. I always, always order this. A little soy sauce. They gotta add some chili oil for a little kick. And then you have to do it in one bite. One bite? So good. So we got some more food come out. We got some clams this time, guys. Because, you know, she has to have her seafood. And then we got this one. This one's a very interesting. I don't, honestly, I don't know what's the outside made out of. It's like a wonton rice paper thingy. But basically, inside is a big ball of um, mixed shrimp cover and this um, crust. And basically, it's like a seafood meatball with a crunchy texture. Yeah. A lot of people like this. It's nice and fried and it's delicious. But the biggest thing here, once again, it's chicken feet. And uh, let me show you guys how to eat the chicken feet. So you got your three claws and then you got the ankle at the bottom. And what I like to do is I like to bite into the claw one at a time and slowly eat the surrounding. There are bones in here so you have to be very careful. And once you eat the surrounding, basically chick, uh, spit out the bones. So let me go ahead and show you guys. Okay, well I went ahead and go for all three claws so and then um you eat the surrounding and then you spit out the bone It's like it's like eating like a spare rib, one of those small spare rib with the bone and the meat surrounding it. You put it in your mouth, you chew out the meat, and you spit out the bone. <clears throat> you want to show people how to eat this one? So she ordered this. I like this sauce, so I dip it this one. Dip into a light soy sauce. Oh, I thought you were going to do one bite. <laughs> it's hot. It's hot? Let me have that one. Oh, it's hot. It's so good. Wow, so hot, can't even talk. We're gonna go ahead and continue our lunch. Devour all this food, we'll see you guys in a little bit. She's over there eating her chicken feet. And she spit out the bone. And now she spit out more bones. Is it good? Yeah. Now you just got the ankle left. <laughs> Eat the meat, spit out the bone. That's it. <laughs> oh my god, guys, we are so full. Something about dim sum after eating it, it makes me go to sleep. So now I'm very tired and very sleepy. So we're about to go back home and take a nap. What about you? You feel okay? I'm full. You're full? Uh, this, was, uh, this was fun. This was a fun lunch. Haven't been out in so long. Haven't sat at a restaurant. Ah, uh, okay. Well, we'll check you guys out next time. You know, mukbang vlog, whatnot. Don't forget, guys, subscribe, support. Let's grow this family together. I appreciate it every time you guys click on the video and watch. See you guys next time.